MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the second of four between the Chicago Cubs and the Miami Marlins. These two should provide some big time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Adam Conley, the southpaw out of the state of Washington, will be the starter. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, he's one of these guys that's going to battle. He sticks around the game long enough where you pick up a win like he did last outing, only giving up one run, but he stayed in the game and he got the W. Maybe we'll see that type of performance from him today because he's that type of pitcher. In now is John Jay. Leading off tonight He'll get us started in this one Center under the Gilbert. lights. John Jay. Underway in the second of four here this weekend as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. This Marlins ball club, Harold Reynolds, as they begin play here tonight, they enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Well, Matt, they're two and two on the homestand, so obviously you don't want to go two and three if you lose this game here. Three and two, though, the win today gets you shooting towards maybe a nice little winning streak. That's why this game is important to me. And he's retired here one away. With that, a look at the Cubbies starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, of course, you have to like what Anthony Rizzo brings to this offense. He's one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. At the plate, Jason Hayward. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Yeah, Matt. Freddie might call a few strikes below the knees in this one. But he tends to get pretty good reviews. Players don't argue a whole lot. He's consistent. He almost never impacts the game in a negative way. Well, Up top, it it's 2-0. and oh. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and it's 2 and 1 now. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. 2 and 2. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full 3 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Another payoff pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Here's Chris Bryant now. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Into the windup and the pitch. A changeup that just nips the outside of the zone. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Just starting things out here in South Florida. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Again, he sends it out of play. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score.
John Lackey will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him H. Well Matt he's got real good stuff. He won his ninth game last outing. Uh, he's going for 10 today and I just think if he can get past the sixth or seventh he's got a great shot of getting that 10th win. Striding into the box D Gordon having a very nice year currently second, second in the NL batting D. chase. Gordon. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Well, Harold, as we take a look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matt, I mean, everything's working for them. They've increased their lead in their division. They're blowing everybody away. The challenge, I think, moving forward is just to stay focused and motivated as they know they're going to be a playoff team. The 2-0 -oh on the way. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. Now here's Lackey's three two. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. As if things aren't tough enough here playing in this hostile environment, he walks the leadoff hitter, and oh yeah, he's a threat to run every time he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this outing. Stepping in, Giancarlo Stanton. He's definitely a long ball threat, currently third in the National League in that category. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch is a cold strike. Throw. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Well, he showed a lot of patience to work out that walk, but it got a race pretty quickly. Always hate to give outs away on the base pass, especially when you've gotten on base for free. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Slider. Good two strike pitch, but it misses 1 and 2. Well, no surprise on that one. That's the classic slider down the way trying to get him to chase on that 0 2 pitch. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Well, Matt, this is a very aggressive club. They steal a lot of bases. They're not at the top of the league, but, man, they're right there. They're not far behind. They will run at every opportunity they get to try to force mistakes. In is Christian Yelich. And you can see great numbers over the past few games. And a fastball just a bit up. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Bryant is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Marlins down quietly. We are still scoreless.
Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He'll start guns. things out in the top First half of the second. 44, Anthony Rizzo. First pitch of the at bat. And that one stayed too low, apparently. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Well, 2 0 now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you could bet he's not going to hold back. Left a change out there for him, but he missed it 2 and 1. Now that's a big swing. That's what the big fella is supposed to do. Look to go downtown. Let it all fly. He let the dog out right there. I want to see if he calms it down or does it again on this pitch. That's a ball. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Oh. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Rizzo will head for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. So he's into second with a double here to kick off the second Not inning. Back. And as we the take a look there at the 40. team leaderboard, you can see he ranks third best on this Chicago ball club. Here's the young catcher Wilson Contreras and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah great RBI opportunity here but at the very least he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. High in the air out to center field. Yelich is right there, one down. All right, time for majestic defensive alignment seven. for the Marlins. Second base. And I want to talk about a Danny Echeverria. This guy gets overlooked in this day and age, the generation of the shortstop in the major leagues. His name very seldom gets called up. If it wasn't for a few other pretty good players at short, he'd be winning the gold glove every year. Here's Ben Zobris now. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Miami. 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 And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. I'll tell you what, right there, Matt, that's a sign of a guy that was sitting on an off-speed pitch. He threw that fastball right by him. No score here as we play inning number two. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. One and one, here it is. Hit on the ground to short. Throw on to first, two gone. Here's Javier Baez, and he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. First offering on its way. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. From the stretch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Two out here and a runner at second. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. On the stretch and he lays oh, off again ball three 
I don't know, Matt. Look here, he fell behind 3-1 now. I'm looking at the on-deck circle. That's just a better matchup. There's no need to give in and let this guy hurt you when you can go after that other guy who you got a chance to get out. Here it is on three and one. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Batting eight, the pitcher number 41. John Digging in Lackey. now, John Lackey. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. The 0 1 to first. Fielded cleanly, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Up strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So striding in, Leading Justin Bohr. He drove in one of their two Thanks, runs man. in last night's Justin ball game. Bohr. And he'll start the at bat with a slider that didn't miss by a whole lot. It's ball one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch. If you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. Oh, that was a good looking slider to hit. It kind of hung him one. When you got a slider right there and it's spinning towards you, that's the one you, you annihilate. Hard hit to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Let's take a look at the Cubbies defensively brought to you by Majestic. And at first base, Anthony Rizzo. Another one of those guys that can pick the ball out of the dirt for you. But I love the fact he's aggressive and he'll make that throw to home, he'll throw it to second, and he'll even dive in the stands for you if he needs to. Coming to the plate now, Ichiro Suzuki. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. Into the windup and the pitch. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Well, we all know he can burn on a base pass, right? But that's a little tougher to do when you've got a nice goose egg on your leg. It's tough to do like that. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first gets him, and Lackey looks to be in control here. There are two away. Batting six. Catcher. JT. Into the box now. JT Real Muto. And there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. First pitch on its way. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Now the 0 1 from Big John. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. His matchup numbers with John Lackey, two for nine. Lackey steps into the windup, ready with the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Miami down in order. will move to the third with no score.
Stepping up now, Matt Leading Caesar. And he'll start out Left there fielder. half of the third, top Matt of the order to follow. Caesar. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a knee high fastball. Outside for a ball, one and one. Popped up. Prado on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. Stepping in and ready for another shot. John Jay, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ball one. Now Ball that was one, a good pitch play. to lay off. When it starts on the outside half of the plate, that slider right there, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. From the windup, the one one pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Third inning, no score to this point. And he misses again, ball three. The lefty Jason Hayward waits in the on deck circle. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. Whoa, now you know a pitcher is really right fighting fielder. himself when he misses a zone by that Hayward. much. I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. Here's Jason Hayward now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. In the dirt, and now let's see. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. The 1 0 delivery. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. A lot of times you'll see the take sign after five straight balls to start the inning but with the middle of the order up at the plate here I wouldn't be surprised if he's turned loose just has to be the right pitch to hack at. A change up over the inside corner. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a change up on two and oh that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Set to deliver on two and one. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Chris Bryant waits on deck. He's set and the three and one pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Open to send him packing pitch on its way and he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball and the first base open the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone so no harm done force out anywhere now digging in to try it again Chris Bryant he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up first pitch coming here it is. Late that time for a strike. He's such a good hitter. You don't see him miss pitches that are right there in a good hitter's location very often. All right, let's do this. 
lays off the slider and it's one and one. Hey two walks in this inning already so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. There's that tight slider right there just missed getting under the hands. That's a good pitch. I like that pitch. But if you don't get it where you want it it could be a dangerous pitch to throw. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch got himself ahead in the count now. He's set now the pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. All even at two and two here it is off speed pitch and there is strike three called and boy that zone just got a bit larger two away. Well no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches but not this time. I think that was actually a good take but on two strikes anything that close can go either way. Stepping into the box Anthony Rizzo. Two on, two out for him here in the third. He's set and the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Two men are on with two men out. Hit hard on the ground to third. A toss over to Gordon at second, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Martin Prado now and this is a good looking matchup for him here as you can see he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. And that pitch catches the inside corner. The pitch. And that misses one and one. Hey. Fastball called strike one and two. Ready on one and two. And a slider runs away from him there and the count levels at two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes here it comes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low it's ball three. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Hey they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. The pitcher Adam Conley steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation so let's see if that is indeed on right here. He comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. On to first, and they get the double play. Oh, that's the last thing you want to happen when you're trying to bunt a guy into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball, too. Otherwise, these infielders just eat it up and turn it into a double play. Here's Echeverria now. As the first pitch misses to him it's ball one and you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. A 
Lackey looks in. 1 0 on its way. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Good check swing on that off speed pitch. Clearly he's sitting fastball, ready to let it fly. He recognized it was an off speed pitch and was able to hold up. From the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. Yeah. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside, three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Marlins. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Ready for another chance? Leading Wilson Contreras. Answer. He's 0 for 1 thus Wilson far. Contreras. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Matt, I don't know if you know this, but less than 60% of his first pitches have been for a strike. And he's still having a good game. I, I don't know what he's doing. They just haven't been able to figure him out. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a change up is bounced to second. Gordon is there. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The second baseman, number 18, Ben Zobrist. Digging in the switch hitter, Ben Zobrist, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he'll start in with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1 0. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter number nine. Digging in for his second at bat, Javier Baez reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Into the windup and the pitch. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't ball bite ball on it. Strike. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. That's inside. 2 0. Well, they walked in the first AB, and clearly he's already got two balls now. They're not challenging him, but as a hitter, it's very difficult to stay patient. But you have to. This is where you got to be patient and get your pitch. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Riamuto is camped under this one and he will make the catch so that'll do it. Three up three down for the Cubs. On to the bottom of the fourth now still with no score. Here's D. Gordon now. He'll look Leading to get something going eight. here in this scoreless Second ball game. D. Gordon. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The right fielder, number 27, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Well, there's a first pitch strike. You know, only 50% of the pitches he's throwing first pitch this game have been for a strike. So I'm surprised that he's having as much success so far as he is. 
Now the 0 1 from Big John. Fastball and oh he has to bend out of the way of that one. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Hayward going back on it. A leap, but he can't get it. It's off the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay, but he is in there with a triple. So there goes the no hit bid as they finally get their first knock of the game. Better late than never, huh? It was a memorable first hit, too. I thought maybe he was going to be content to stop at second, but no way. He barrels into third with a triple. Maybe that wakes up the dugout, too. In is Christian Yelich. Lifted the other way to left center. Jay on the run. And a dive out there in left center, but he can't come up with it. And the run will score as the Marlins have claimed the early 1-0 advantage. Throw won't get him. Schwarber is going to have to enter the ball game here as he'll take over in left following the injury. Number 12, Riding in once again, Justin Bohr. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First baseman, Justin Bohr. Lays off 1 0. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Here it comes, 1 0. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. It just could not keep it fair. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike, too. I like what I'm seeing right now. In, in, and then goes away. If you pound him in early, it opens up the outside half of the plate. And that's what he's doing right now. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Again, a one, two. And another foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a swing, and of course this fly ball will immediately test the new guy as this is in the air to left. He'll run this down in foul territory, and here comes the runner from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2 nothing game. A great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. So two are gone now in the Miami fourth. And in steps the dangerous Ichiro. Here comes the first pitch. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Well, he's really peppering the zone right there, going up in the zone. I wonder if he stays there the whole time. Usually you'll see that with two strikes, not with no strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Line drive to left. And that's going to be a base hit for Ichiro. 
So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Now batting. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Now at the plate, JT Real Muto. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. He's set. Here it comes. And a fastball just a bit high. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Well, I like that, taking that strike right there. Look, he's already walked a couple guys early. He's not throwing the ball consistently in the zone. You have to be patient and make him work. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul well when you're hitting with two strikes you're just in battle mode right there he gets a breaking ball he just fouled it off got a piece of it and stays alive and a slider swung on and missed and the side is retired so it's two runs on three hits no errors and a runner left on on to the top of inning number five we go it's the Marlins two and the Cubs nothing So digging in now, John Lackey. He's 0 for 1 Enter thus far. John Lackey. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2 and 0. Oh. Well they couldn't have scripted it any better. I mean you get to face the pitcher lead off the inning. But when you go down 2 0 maybe that plan's not working so good. Let's go, A change up that catches the corner for strike one. Well this offense finds themselves struggling right now and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture get somebody on maybe hit and run and then you look for the big ball looks like right now everybody's swinging for the downs they got to turn it around a little bit play a little small ball get it going and this is fouled back and out of play well they got him in the rocking chair right now a little change up follow up with the fastball and he's a little late with that swing I may go back with another change up fastball swung on and missed for the first down. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth and boy just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Stepping up to the plate Kyle Schwarber first at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. They set the target in and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. This is the time in the game you start thinking hey they might get better swings. Then you see a swing like that. Boy he's still got it working. This one's flared toward left center. Echeverria ranging into the outfield makes the play and there are two gone now. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. In now is John Jay. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Well, that'll get your head shaking at the plate. That's a pitch he hasn't used much in this game. Now he throws that for a strike, and you add that to the rest of his repertoire. Man, it's tough to cover them all. Hey. 
taken. Called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One and two now. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Here's another one two. And there's one he'd like to have over again missed high with the slider. Into the windup here comes the two two pitch. Just a bit low ball three. Two out nobody on. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Cubs are down in order. They're still down. It's 2-0. In now, Martin Prado. He'll lead things right, off as we time. begin the home fifth. Martin Prado. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball that finds the outside corner. Curveball that time, not even close. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Line towards center field. In is Jay, but this ball's in front of him for a base hit. So the leadoff hitter's aboard. Pitcher due up. Looks to be a textbook sacrifice situation. Now, batting. now to the plate, Adam Conley. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a bunt attempt here. And he'll just put it in his pocket. It's an infield single. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. So striding forward now, Adani Echevarria. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And now the Cubs' bullpen will start working here as both a lefty and a righty are up. First pitch of the at bat. Now both runners are breaking. Hit to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now batting, second baseman, D. Gordon. Here's D. Gordon now. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Runners are at second and third with one down. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Nope. And a fastball just a bit high. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop up. You can see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Hit back up the middle. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Probably wanted more out of that at bat with runners in scoring right position, but at least he does the job Giancarlo and brings one home. Enter. Maybe the next guy can pick up the runner at third now. Digging in and looking for more, Giancarlo Stanton. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ballgame. From the stretch. 
Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far, and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple. Lay off that slider and make it bring up something straight in the strike zone. In there, and it's even at one. Lackey at an even 70 pitches now in the outing. Lackey comes set. 1-1 one, one on its way. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Well, that's not a good pitch for him to hit. Look, this fella's got so much power, but you got to bring the pitch into the zone. Chasing that one there right there, I'd go back and throw it to him again. Trying to send him packing for the second time. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Man, I think he thought he's going to get another breaking ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. That's a nice pitch, though, falling that breaking pitch to keep him off balance with the heater. And that's through into center field, base hit, and that'll bring home another as they open it up to a four nothing advantage now. Well, nothing flashy about this base hit. Just a simple ground ball up the middle. But the one thing I do like is the approach to go up the middle. There's a lot of hits in the middle of the diamond. Into the box now, Christian Yelich, as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Here's the 0 1. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Well, that's going to get out of play and into the camera well. I like that combination right there. Show him the curveball, and now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 and 2. Here comes another 0 2. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's 1 and 2 now. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Two out with the man at first. Sent on the ground out to second. He'll whip this one to first in time and that ends the inning. So two runs on two hits, one error in the inning, and a runner left on. Five innings complete. It's the Marlins four and the Cubs nothing. Here's Jason Hayward now. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Now here's the pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and A oh. couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And that one stayed up a little high.
And the pitch on two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make them swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Well, they haven't I'll been able to scratch a run across yet, There's so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Here's Chris Bryant now. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. And that misses for ball one. That's the advantage of having a good two hitter hitting second in your lineup. He knows he's going to get something to hit because they're going to pitch to him. And now here comes the heart of the order. They've got a great opportunity to get on the board here. The one and zero delivery. Big swing and a miss at the changeup. A ball and a strike. Nobody out. Runner on first. Now a ball hit in the air but in play perhaps down the line Ichiro will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first out and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Anthony Rizzo stands in now one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Stanton has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag. Runner back safely. And another snap throw to the bag. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. And he'll snap one over to first. And the runner back in standing. And a strike to even the count. One and one. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Ichiro is in pursuit. He can't get there as it falls in. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Left fielder really never had a the chance at that one at 18, all. It was ben over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Here's Ben Zobrist now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits to this point. The 0 1 on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Up strand a couple. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score.
Jeff Locke enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 33, Jeff Locke. Digging in once again, Leading Justin Bohr. He'll have the opportunity to kick run. things off as we Justin begin the home Moore. sixth. Weekly hit towards first. Rizzo is there, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you can do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. Here's Ichiro now. One for two on his line so far in the game. First pitch of the at-bat. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Around first, he's digging for second. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging and he makes it all the way around safely. Into the box. JT Real Muto as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one 0 for 2 from him so far in this one from the belt kicks and deals and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball one out and a runner on third. Squared that one up just a little late. Man, I like the last two pitches. The change up and then the fastball. And he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now, and that's an advantage to the pitcher. Hard sinker misses two and two. He's set. Here's the two two to third. In time to first, and there are two away. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Ready once again, Martin Prado. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hayward has a read on it, and that ends the inning. So it's one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We're through six full. The Marlins on top, five to nothing. Welcome back to South Florida. It's on to the seventh inning with the Marlins on top and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings of play. Digging in to try it again. Leading Javier Baez. He's 0 Short for stop. 1 thus far. Javier Baez. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 and 0. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. The 2 0 on the way. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. 
ball three to a leadoff hitter that can run not the greatest way to start this right here. I think right now you really have to start pouring some pitches into that strike zone. That one's in there three and one. Well he made a nice adjustment. That was a nice pitch right there. Three oh now puts a count three one. That was the same pitch he threw two and oh and missed on it and got ball called. Now here's the pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Payoff pitch one more time. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Well, when you've been out there as long the as he has, you have to expect to lose a little precision in your location. He's up over 90 pitches now, so he might be starting to tire a little bit. Something to keep an eye on. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Junichi Tazawa is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. A.J. Ellis is also into the ball game as he'll hit in the number eight spot here. Number 17. A.J. Ellis. Tommy Lestella will come on to pinch Number hit two. now with a runner at first Tommy and nobody Lestella. out. Marlin. Outside target here and he hits it for strike one. He's got that average pushing up near 360 now. One home run and eight runs batted in. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Ah! Chop foul over towards the dugout. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch down the first baseline. Oh, he makes the stop. Got him. Now batting. Left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kyle Schwarber comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. A man at third with one away. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Well, the first two pitches are interesting. Both away from the left-hander. Willie busted back in and challenge him. It's going to be a good at-bat to watch. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And this guy loves to throw the slider, and it's a very a pitch effective for pitch for him. But here's Center the flip fielder. side of that coin. John he starts this Jay. one too far inside and plunks the hitter. Stepping in now, John Jay. Rounded up the first baseline. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Hey now. On to first, but not in time. He beats it out to keep the inning alive, and the run is in to score. Looked right like that it. might be an inning ending Jason double play off the bat, but that was some great hustle to beat the throw at first. Keeps the inning alive, and more importantly, he gets an RBI because of it.
Here's Jason Hayward now as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh couple of walks for him thus far. The one and oh delivery. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. Jay is on his way home. And they'll get a little closer here as the run comes across to score from first. It's now a 5-2 game. Never say now never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock Brent is ticking. But Ryan. that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Here's Chris Bryant now. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0 and 1 delivery. Tried to get him to go after the slider but it's 1 and 1. The 1 1 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. From the stretch. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. From the belt, the pitch. In the dirt here. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Hit in the air out toward left. Ichiro will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So Ladies it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man strike. left on. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. The Marlins lead this one 5-2. to two. Koji Uehara gets the call now from the pen the to take over on the mound and Number start 19, the home seventh. Koji Uehara. At the plate, A.J. Ellis. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander's begun to get loose. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. Whoa, that, that'll get your attention. First pitch out of the bullpen, and it's a fastball inside, nearly hits the batter. Everybody's on edge right now. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Outside, yeah, two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And he'll offer it the two one and send it in the air out to right. Therefore, it is Hayward now, one away. The batter number three, Here's Echeverria now. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here's Zobris now at second. Reined in. Pro gets him. Two down. The batter number nine. Second baseman. E. Here's D. Gordon now. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. Into the windup and the pitch. Low with the splitter, ball one. 5 2 our score as we play inning number seven. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away.
swing and a liner. Foul. Now the one two home to Gordon. Got him looking and that ends the inning. One two three go the Marlins and it remains five to two. Kyle Bearclaw has been summoned from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eighth. Kyle Bearclaw. At the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start Anthony inning number eight. Rizzo. to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. That's a big fastball obviously and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. The one and oh delivery. Look out a fastball up near his dome and that'll wake you up a bit. Boy that's a good pitch right there. The old old school guys would call that a little bit of chin music up and in see if he can get him to move off the box a little bit. He's set and the two and nothing pitch. A high fastball is in there. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs and that one was able to find the zone. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. The 2 2 one more time. Sliced hard down the left field line, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. He'll get it into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Here's the young catcher Wilson Contreras. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the one oh pitch. Tough one to lay off called a strike. What a great adjustment. The high fastball on the first one didn't have a good release point. The next one he's able to put it on the corner, correcting himself as the at bat goes on. I love it. Here's the one and one delivery. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. Fouled back. Another one two delivery. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Here's Ben Zobrist now as he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point.
the set and the 1 0 pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. One out and a runner on second base. A fastball that he's way out in front of a swing and a miss and then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah stuff stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it but he does and he really spotted that pitch. The one and two pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Again a one two. This pitch is popped up calling for it Prado and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The batter number nine. Here's Javier Baez and Dan Javier this could be a real make or break Baez. situation at this point in the game. Yeah Matt at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock. But you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Here comes the first pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. Missed a pretty good pitch to hit right there. You know he wants that one back because you usually don't get more than one of those in an at bat. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will get foul for strike two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Well, now it's a one two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. For strike three, a great pitch to put an end to the inning. Cubs strand one. They trail 5-2. Digging in and looking for more, Giancarlo Stanton. Two for three for him so far, including a triple. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A cold strike on the inside corner. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball misses inside, it's even at 1. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there, but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Hitters count now, here's the two and one. Just a bit low, ball three. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. When you get yourself to a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Bouncer down the line. That veers foul, so they'll do it again on three and two. Another full count pitch home. And a good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. The next 3 2. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to 3 and 2 and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that 3 2 pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. In is Christian Yelich. 
as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted in the air out to left field. Moving under it, Schwarber, two down. Now batting, first baseman, Justin. Ready for Bohr. another shot now, Justin Bohr. 0 for 2 with a sacrifice thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. Hey. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Bases are empty here with two men out. Just short, hit hard. Played on the backhand. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Miami down in order. They're still out in front, five to two. Always a party in Miami Beach, not too far from us here at Marlins Park, set to begin the ninth inning in this one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. A.J. Ramos please. comes on These from the pen hoping to finish Miami. this one off here now in the top of the ninth. The third spot, number 44. Addison Russell Chicago, is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's Addison up off the bench ready to lead Russell. it off in the ninth. Sends that one out of play for strike one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Six home runs and the RBI counted 35. The 0 1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Gordon able to get there. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets Left underway. Left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Striding in once again, Kyle Schwarber. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Drilled on the ground is short. Fielded by Hechevarria. Go on to first, gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. Center fielder, John Jay. In now is John Jay. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he will make the catch here to end things. And the Marlins have come back to even up this four-game series at a game apiece as this one is over. He's proven to be an awfully reliable reliever this season. He wraps this one up and collects his 20th save of the year so far. 5-2 the final score tonight. The Miami Marlins to Victoria for the 40th time this season. Adam Conley earns his sixth winning decision in this one, permitting only two hits in six complete innings. A.J. Ramos earns the save out of the bullpen his 20th of the season so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening for my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak I'm Matt Vaskersian this has been a presentation of MLB the show for more follow